And what's going on everyone? It's me, your boy, Alex the Rambler, and today we return to Hearts of Iron 4, and a mod which looks like it could be quite fun. Hmm. Today we'll be playing a mod called Vive la Roy, Survival of Anchon Regiment. My, my pronunciation of French has never been better. <laughs> Okay, so it's an overhaul mod for uh, Hoi 4, taking place in a universe where the French uh, Revolution never took off and the ancient regime was able to stabilise itself, delaying many political movements. With this, the rivalry between the British and the French continued and the British came out on top as one of two global powers, the other being Russia. There we are. Only mere years ago, there was a great conflict between the Entente, a coalition between France, the German states and the Ottoman Empire. What? and the Allies, who were later supported by Russia. This conflict became known as the Great Kerfuffle, <laughs> and now many states are recovering from it. So, uh, currently, whoa, there are 11 unique uh, focus trees, with seven of the majors starting of one and two shared focus trees. Oh, there's one new ideology, Enlightened Absolutionism. There are decisions available to specific ideologies. There's no Spanish Civil Kerfuffle. Oh. So this mod, I believe the lead developer and the uh, people that have contributed to the mod were people that used to play in my Hoi 4 multiplayer games when I did those, like, you know, uh, a year or two ago for a couple of years. Hopefully we'll, we'll play through and have, a, and, have a, and have a rollicking good time. I think as the mod focuses on France, we should play as the French king, Jamie Leopoldo de Bourbon. Also, if you would like to see more videos on the channel, you know the usual by now. Just click that subscribe button. Leave a like and a comment too. And watch all the way through. Help get my watch time up. Just, if you don't want to watch the whole thing, get up, go to the loo, make yourself a snack. I don't know. Okay, so the British forced the Asian Resident to sign the Treaty of London. This treaty left the support of the French Navy dwindling as the stipulations in it stopped them from building any great naval force. We have conscription issues. There. We have the Treaty of London and the Home of Enlightenment. Uh, we could try and restore our old colonial claims, restore the Entente, or remilitarize our borders. <sighs> so this is what the world looks like. Obviously, uh, Germany has never united. Uh, the Balkans down here are just a bunch of states as per usual. What else is going on? The Ottoman Empire is still here, sort of. The Dominion of Colombia? Heck yeah! Uh, the United States never appears to have completed its manifest destiny and take a like, look at Mexico, what a chonky boy. The Dominion of New England, <laughs> Dominion of Canada. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, Italy's a chonky. Look at that. And we have the Sardom of Russia. Okay, well, let's plop in as France and have a rollicking good time, maybe. France has literally no kind of uh, territory outside of the mainland of France now. An anti- British stance. Oh. No, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Okay, we have no decisions to do at the moment. Oh, what is this? The United Kingdom of the Netherlands. The Rhineland, I say. Okay, okay. If we look at the factions, there's the Allies. Uh, we've also got the German Confederation and the Imperial Alliance. Oh, the Habsburgs are still around. Despite being able to respond to the civil unrest in the late 18th century and keep the monarchy alive, the monarchy could never really contain the British, with this French expansion was limited, happening only due to British mishaps and gains in smaller conflicts against Asian and African nations. France was still a dominant regional power in Europe for a long while, regularly siding with British rivals to try and contain British influence. When an Italian-Russian push into the French mainland forced the government to sign a peace treaty, the peace stripped France of a lot of its colonial possessions. Jamie Leopoldo mm, have made some promises that they reversed the decline. Okay, the future of France is now. This we've got Alsace-Lorraine. That's something, isn't it? <laughs> so what can we do? Hmm, remilitarize my borders. Restore the Entente. We've got the Alpine line against the British. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. La importance de la voix de peuple. I will ban this. I don't want to have democracy spreading. How dare they? No. People must just stay loyal to me. Control the nobility or maintain the status quo. Eh. I think we'll keep the maintain. We'll maintain the status quo and keep the uh, keep the nobility on board. Ah. There's been some terror in Paris. Send the military, ha ah, I don't know if I, oh, well I have no choice, right? I have to send in the military. Um, Game-based ability. 
Oh, for... I will secure the loyalty estates. <laughs> um, estate loyalties, I should say. Oh boy, okay, yeah, okay, sure, sure. Of course, like, France is made into a complete mess. Sure. The Duke of Normandy dies. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, well, a Californian success. Oh! California's gone on on its own. Um, Mexico has. <laughs> oh boy, of course. Uh, suppress <laughs> revolts. Here we go. Nice. Harsh treatment. There are revolts all around the countryside. We need to move in and stop the peasants from rebelling. Yes, quite. This does sound like I'm probably going to have to deal with a revolution in France fairly soon. I don't like that. Why can't everyone just obey my rule? Hmm? Hmm? Please! Bypass the Treaty of London. Take that, English people. Or British. Anglais! I haven't even tried switching any of my uh, armed forces out, like, or trying to change their templates yet. Uh, I know I probably should with the tanks because they're just gonna. Oh! Okay, okay. Sure, California, you go for it. Hmm, Charles de Gaulle or Jean Latreur de da da You'd think, being a neighbour of the French all my life, that I'd have a better concept of uh, how to speak French fluently than I do. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> languages aren't really prioritised in the English school system. Uh, um, after studying one for a couple of years, you can just be like, meh, whatever. Uh, I unfortunately did that. If I could go back to school nowadays, uh, I would certainly take up languages, because I, I think it's incredibly important not to have that attitude that I can just go somewhere and expect people to you know, you know, converse with me in English if I go to their country, you know. So what's this conscription issues? Mm, let's change that. Oh, I've got a few things down here. Heavy regulations. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. If I just relax regulations, would that be good? I don't know. I'm just going to leave it for now. Oh, dearie me. The Irish have revolted. Can I send them any assistance? I doubt it. I can justify on them, though. Oh, wow. The Irish have got their own tree. Nice. Oh my god, look, Netherlands have even built up a fort line against me. You freaking what, mate? How could you? I want it. Oh, here we go. Each individual soldier is key for the success of our campaigns. Yeah. But what campaigns? Because I can't do anything. Oh, gosh, giddily darn. No longer get the effects from anti-British propaganda. Okay, okay. China's trying to take out the warlords i guess because we still got um Puyi up there though yeah I'll, I'll i'll help the irish sure we'll support their cause why not i don't think it will do much in the long run uh oh wow holy moly the empire is crumbling <laughs> oh oh wow everyone's revolting against russia huh can't have people revolt if there's nowhere to revolt from hey eh? that's why i'm france i don't have anything Except France, and they have been known to revolt in France itself. Um, ah, do they indeed? Well, they'll have um, a lot to try and work on. Jeez. Especially with corrupt administration, disloyal officer corps, all of that stuff. Meanwhile, a lot of my issues are all solved except for the conscription. No idea how long it will be before a conflict in Europe erupts, except for people like rebelling against each other. Uh, but I really need to start thinking about getting an air force. But when you start with so few military factories, I've been prioritising uh, getting my uh, army equipped. <laughs> if some people were to um, try and interfere with my regrowth, it wouldn't go very well for me right now. Oh, good. At least our conscription issues are solved. I'm honestly surprised the United States isn't trying to expect... Oh, they have a basic focus tree. That would explain it. Uh, so far, the mod, with the mod, everything is working as it should. Well, I haven't had any kind of problems with, with anything, really. Yeah, everything, everything's going fine. I haven't had a crash. So although it isn't complete by any means, it is very nice that we don't have to worry about too many crashes or anything like that. So far, at least. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and there are lots of events, like the Ottoman Empire reintegrating certain things. Now, could I do anything here? I will rally the nobility, I think. Mm, promote noble interests, actually. I need my stability to just just get higher. Why just just stupid Bourbon ruining my stability just by being him? Oh, the Kingdom of Saxony refuses Prussia. Okay. Oh dear. I guess the Kaiser won't be too happy about that. Eh? And are they a 
Ah, yep, okay. Uh, Prussia is now <laughs> at war with Austria. The Grand Duchy of Oldenburg supports the Imperial Army, seeking protection from other German nations. Where on earth even are they? Oh, here. I don't know, mate. I just don't... I don't... Let, oh, they're approaching the British. This isn't in our interest. Screw you. Goody. Prussia subjugates. Okay, things are changing in Germany. Italy guarantees Albania. And I will attempt to remilitarise my borders. Here we go. Alsace-Lorraine and Savoy need to be rearmed. Mm -hmm. In that event, I will get a nice stack of troops down here. I definitely don't think I've prepared enough. If people do decide to decide they want to war me, I, I'm, I'm quite petrified that I will lose this quite easily. Uh, oh, it appears Prussia's actually beating Austria, though. Should have expected that, right? I do have a nice stack of units in case Italy does decide to declare war if I uh, let troops enter Savoy. I will immediately lose control of this area, though, which... Eh, it's a few factories. My coastline is kind of defended. Oh, if the Spanish enter, then... Oh, Britain and Italy refuses intervention. Ha <laughs> ha! Diplomatic protest. Just as we'd hoped. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that! Okay, the Alpine line straight away. <laughs> Off you go. Okay. How many units is that on the border with me? It's like 100. <laughs> They've got 143 divisions on my border. Like, what the heck? Really? Um, do they really consider me a threat, don't they? Oh my god. I will restore the Entente. In that case, Greece refuses Ottoman ultimatum. Grand Duchy of Oldenburg suggests closer trade. Um, oh yeah. Sure, sure. That looks completely normal. Prussia occupies everything. I will influence German states. Um, if they... Oh, an alliance with Spain. Actually, yeah. Let's just, just get an alliance with Spain straight away. Come on in, Monsieur Empire. Oh, there they go. Sure. This is just going to be an absolute mess, I would imagine. I am honestly quite surprised no one has intervened against me yet. My power is growing. Slowly, but it's growing. Hey! Spain has joined. da 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 ba da da ba ba I mean, it'll help, right? And if it, every little helps. Bavarian entry into the German Confederation. Yeah, that is a chonky boy. The defensive pact of Austria. Um, no point in that now. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just try and ally the Dutch, shall I? I don't know if the Germans are going to go after them, but prepare Kriegsmarine. Okay. Oh, okay. The Stockholm Conference. Sweden likes me. They might want to join me. Sure, Sweden. I'll, I'll take anyone. Really, anyone. Ireland would like to join. Come on in, Ireland. Yeah. Yeah, baby. You can help me, sort of. Oh, you're... Um, I believe there's a flaw. Instead of getting four forts on the actual border, you get one back there. <laughs> hey, the Dutch are in. Good. Okay, I'm going to have to go against the British now. No one was a greater rival to the British than our empire. Mmm. Not much of one now, are we? But, uh, you know, you know. Can't help that. Yeah, Germany's just... Uh, <laughs> if Germany attacks me, I, I think it's over. Um, the Dutch do have a lot of troops, though. Look at that. That's very sexy. Yes, sir. Kingdom of Sweden. Sure, welcome in. I will take anyone. I feel a bit safer now. Coastal defense. Um, oh, it doesn't actually build any. Yeah, this, this focus tree isn't completely OP. Oh, the UK is at war with the Ottomans. I see. Unification of Germany, right. Can I do anything um, about that apart from be like, hey -o, how you doing, mate? <laughs> Probably need to stick some divisions on here. I don't know what their focuses are. Oh, they don't care. They don't care about me. Yeah, okay, that's good. I think, unless they do European interventionism and try and get some, like, stuff with the Dutch. Don't attack the Dutch. Ugh. Okay, let's see if the Ottomans would like to join. Then that would give me a corsus belly against the British. Of course, you don't, you don't need one. The French and the British have been enemies for hundreds of years, in theory. Well, we don't anymore, obviously. IRL. Oh, I am out of manpower. Ay ay ay. Okay, let's stop recruiting troops. Almost a million in the field. I would like to go to extensive. Hmm. Okay, the Ottomans are in. <laughs> so the faction is actually pretty large. Ish. Uh, I imagine the Ottomans might ask for my support. In fact, they are. Do you know what? Yes. 
Let's go for it. Risk it for a biscuit. Rio de la Plata's in my faction. Oh, I had no idea. Oh, that's nice. This is not so nice. When you... <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, the Italians have a lot of troops that they're just going to throw at me, don't they? Maybe if I put down more of an air force? Would that help? I'm going to anyway. And they're immediately trying to invade me. Can I switch to extensive? Yay! I wonder, if I tried to take out the UK Navy, would I get annihilated? I might give it a go, you know. Can I get fuel? I'll try and get fuel from Russia. And maybe the Ottomans? We have a land border. Did I win? I'm not sure that I could count that as a win. No, that's, that's atrocious. I think I'll just stop using my Navy. Oh, the Italians are at it again. Yes, throw yourselves onto me. Throw them. How many casualties are they taking? Half a million. So I decided to move some of my troops away because they, they stopped attacking. Um, I'd rather they just keep attacking into my troops because I'm not losing any org in these defences and because they think like they they have a chance to push me, I'm just going to let them... This is basically exploiting the AI really, isn't it? Uh, I know they can't beat me. I have area superiority. I have forts. It's, it's pretty much like one and done really. So I'll just let them keep doing that, wasting their manpower. And is that the British have landed? Oh, I will supply... Quebec nationalists. Here we go. The Quebecois will rise. Yeah, this is great. Italy's taking a lot of casualties. Overall, this is going quite not. What? Where are the Spanish divisions? Hello? Oh, fuck. Where, where, we, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Where have the Dutch sent their tree? Oh, the AI is so dumb sometimes. So the Kingdom of Quebec doesn't exist, but I can incite, can provoke a Quebec revolt. Oh. Norway and Denmark are probably going to take out Sweden. Well, that's not great. Wait, have the Russians sent volunteers? Are you having a giraffe, mate? That's not on. That's not cool. Oh, yeah. Sweden doesn't... Feck. Feckity feck. Eh. Yay, Quebec. They won't be able to do much. I wouldn't have imagined. But, you know, it's just fun to do that. Let's do the restoration of French Quebec. Well, I don't know if that's actually going to happen or not. Based on how that's going for them. <laughs> Oh good, the Netherlands have some of their own troops again. So my plan, and this might be somewhat silly, is to try and naval invade and para drop into the UK and then just try and blitz them, if possible. Um, I do have Char Charles de Gaulle's 24 divisions to help here, and my couple of tankies. But overall, this might not be the best use of all of my resources, which just aren't that I comprehensive. So I have my rather large ish navy here so if i did naval invasion support into the english channel uh i won't be able to do my para drops yet i wouldn't have thought i will give it a go i have para dropped my naval invasions went forward i will now stick my freaking charles de gaulle units in okay this has gone better than I could have dreamed. Then, um, uh, yep. Uh, uh, oh, oh, wait, 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 whoa. Oh, Quebec. But, yep, Quebec becomes loyal, and I've just taken London. And Quebec capitulates the same time it becomes loyal to me. Brilliant. Don't know why Mexico would join the Allies. Just a bit dumb. I like how Ireland's still just chilling. Like, I, I have just capitulated the United Kingdom here. <laughs> and they're just like, yeah, whatever. The United States wants to resupply and wants non-aggression. I will 100% take that, United States. Well, I thought this would be more difficult than it actually is. We're just, uh, we're, we're breaking their line in certain points. In other points, we're pay failing, obviously. Look at that, though. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I was actually um, really quite worried that I wouldn't be able to do very well as France in this mod. But, you know, if you're cautious and just build it, focus on building up, then you can do all right. Obviously, uh, a lot of my allies are somewhat failing, but that's okay. We're contested in the air. I don't like that. That's better. <laughs> oh, look at those exchanges. Oh, yeah, baby. So even if they do get superiority for a little while, I don't think they can hold it. Air superiority is king here, I think. Like, if you can nerf their air force and just have a ton of uh, close air support as well, it's, it'll make your life so much easier. I have obviously stopped pushing at the moment. I don't appear to be able to get through their lines. Yeah, they seem pretty well entrenched now behind rivers. Portugal's just joined the Allies, I believe. Norway capitulated. Ha oh, ha! Sweden's doing something. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, Sweden actually did it. The Empire of Scandinavia. Poggers. <laughs> okay, so what I've just done is um, a naval... Not a naval. Freaking airborne. 
an airborne thingy. You know those, the airborne thingamajigs. Try and uh, break through their lines. I don't know if it'll work or not, but I just want this to finish. Ah, for the Rome, finally, revenge. Oh wow, I didn't actually realize. <laughs> I've only taken 373,000 casualties. I only took 12,000 against the UK. Wow, it's just cracking Italy. You should be the soft shell of Europe. I don't know what's going on. Well, the, the, the Italians are trying to counterattack, <laughs> but I have complete area superiority, and I'm just going to try and actually cut them off. I don't know if I, again, like, I don't know if these things will work. Apparently they do. And then they're all cut off. So if I just attack immediately, they're just going to starve, I think. Yeah, the paratroopers have just um, wrecked them. <laughs> Their army's just stuck and encircled. Oh, mate, that's amazing. Oh, finally. There we go. <laughs> oh, right, I don't think I'll take a bit of that. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. No, I'll just take Pedamon, actually. I'll take both of those. Okay. The United Kingdom is now a threat. Oh, balls. I messed it up. I meant to take all of that. Oh. I guess Quebec can have Canada. They've earned it. Well, this has just turned into a mess of a peace deal. So I'm going to uh, say goodbye uh, 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 with this. Uh, but yeah, the European Entente. Pretty chonky. Um, the mod, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, definitely better than, than a lot of first releases for mods, that's for sure. Um, yeah, had a good time. Enjoyed it. So if you did enjoy this too, do, do comment, like, and subscribe, and I guess the House of Bourbon will live on forever. Toodaloo! Many thanks to Onion Duck, Seth Cutter Stoevec, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, Tyler Colby, Tad House, Colby Was Taken, Matt Zuv, Vashk, Warren P. George, Dave D.Y. The Don, Valhalla Hulls, Goozy Dibs, Yaboy, yeah Da Falcon, Ryan Cock, Jake Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous random supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!